Life isn't fair. It never was. If it was fair, this young woman who was sensitive and kind and gracious wouldn't be dealing with an insidious thing called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, EDS. If life was fair, Allie Pennington's joints wouldn't randomly dislocate about 20 times a day, okay. and she wouldn't have to live with the excruciating pain it's in. <laughs> of popping them back into their sockets over okay, Mama, spasm. and over again. Right now I need move. Her mother, Catherine, endures it with her. It's terrible, and it, it, it hurts me when she has to have her joints put in because of the pain she goes through and the pain she lives with. And she's so strong, it's, it's amazing. It's not always easy. I have my days. I have my moments. It's got that hip in. But I think the biggest thing I hold on to is hope. That was the house is now in. Hope that there's either a cure or a better management, or hope that you'll help kickstart something big. I try to always look on the positive side because the world can get very dark and scary if you let it. Boys, supper on. Dark and scary. Allie knows about those words because if life was fair, she wouldn't have gone completely blind in high school, the result of optic nerve atrophy, and she wouldn't have felt so completely alone. And not long ago, if life was fair, Allie wouldn't have endured the crushing loss of her friend and guide dog, Flyer. Losing her guide dog was so terribly hard. I have just learned that hope is the one thing I know. It's all going to get better. I mean, and as long as you have that outlook on life, it's already better. But for all of its unfairness, life is beautiful too. If it wasn't beautiful, a woman named Wendy Tinker wouldn't have moved just down the road and started adopting neglected and unwanted horses. She wouldn't have saved a 20-year-old neglected mare named Lacey from the slaughterhouse by buying her for $400. And she wouldn't have introduced Lacey to Allie if life wasn't beautiful. She had a hard life too. She, she didn't have it easy. And so I guess we kind of just met on that level that we both know. There's something that was in her soul that just matches what's in Lacey's soul. Lacey, I mean, ever since I met her, like we just had this bond. It just seemed like she cared about me. And one day when Allie visited Wendy and Lacey, they were in the pasture and Wendy said something extraordinary. She handed me Lacey and I walked her over to Gray's and then I handed her back to Wendy and Wendy goes, do you want a horse? And I was like, are you serious? And uh, she was. These days, when it hurts too much to get up and walk down the stairs, Allie calls out from her window. Lacey, where's my girl? Huh, sweetheart? and Lacey comes over and calls back to her. Lacey, come on, honey. And on good days, on good days, she struggles down the stairs of the porch and walks out into the world to find her friend. Good girl. Good girl. She let me hug her, and now she hugs me back, which is so sweet. I love it. You're so good, you're so pretty. She's a good girl. Eventually, Allie's parents agreed that Lacey needed some company, so the family took in another horse named Star. So, I mean, if I get upset or anxious, I just go out there and stand on the deck, and they come up and they like blow their great horsey breath on me. It's just like I can relax, I can breathe, and take the serenity, just relax and feel safe. If life wasn't beautiful, Allie wouldn't have found Lacey and now Star. She couldn't have leaned against them when her legs failed her or her spirit wanes or when the world is dark and scary. She couldn't feel their breath and whisper to them and sense that they understand her if life wasn't beautiful.
thing that's happened. If you were to choose one, mm -hmm. would you say life is unfair or life is beautiful? Life is beautiful. <laughs>